means I cannot ward against it. And Maokai is a champion that has a point-and-click hard CC that he can follow it up with a knockback that I can't dodge because I'll be CC'd at the time. Basically, if Twitch is hovering around the lane, all the Maokai needs to do is get within snare range to cost me most of my life or kill me. It is pretty much the epitome of where the fuck is my counterpoint. So, right, I ask you now. I'm up against Maokai. The enemy twitches their jungle. Like, th this is definitely one of those scenarios where I, I, I fundamentally ask, why was Maokai given a point-and-click root? Why was Twitch given a stealth? Just in general, I get how champions like Maokai can... Like, I, 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 I feel like the only champions in the game that should have point-and-click CC of any variety are tanks. And next season, I won't care about Maokai in top lane because there really won't be a reason to play Maokai in top lane. But as it stands right now, this is going to be miserable. Because I can't deal at all with the Maokai. Or excuse me, I can't deal with this combination. I can't deal with the CC and damage that's going to be hitting. So what I'm going to do is set up this wave to push against me because I have a feeling... Well, actually, we, no, we didn't see the Twitch. I mean, I'm assuming. I'm not putting a point in anything right now. I may need to put a point in my E. Fighting is in my blood. I'm setting this up to push against him. And I'm going to I'm going to give up farm if I have to. I'm just going to stand far back and wait. Yes, one of the three things they were talking about, complexity, knowledge, um knowing how to play against something. Right now, that Twitch jungle is showing you that when you see a Twitch jungle on the enemy team, you need to have um, knowledge or you'll likely die. Because I've done this before where I... Yep. Would you look at that? Would you look at that? Would you look at that? The Twitch was actually hanging out the entire time waiting for that moment. It's crazy, I showed him that I understood what was happening, and they still went for it, and I still lost 75% of my life. Even playing around it, I lost 75% of my life. I guess I had to give up more farm. So I ask once again, where was my counterplay? My counterplay was literally level 1 having to give up farm because I can't actually deal with that combination. At least I healed back most of the damage, and the Twitch basically wasted a shitload of time, which is a big deal for him. Twitch needs to get kills early. If his ganks don't work out, he fucks himself over. But yes, if I were playing this lane like I would play any other Zac lane, I would have died. Which is, of course, really fucking dumb. Also, that's awesome. I like how my Q didn't connect on this minion despite the minion being there in easy connection range. I'm sorry, what was that, Maokai? The Shivana shows up. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. <sighs> went through my Q. Dodged my E, went through my Q. Untargetability in any form, I feel like, is just such a fucking obnoxious thing to deal with. Because right there, that's what that was. Untargetability in any form. I need to shove this out. I'm 
Oh, now I'm winning the lane. That sucks, though. He probably would have died if my E landed. And he definitely would have died if my Q landed. I'm just gonna take this opportunity to back and buy. I never skip breakfast. But that's good. The fact that Twitch didn't get an early kill, and the fact that Shivana actually counter jungled him, that means the Twitch is in pretty bad shape. And he doesn't have any good lanes to gain. Like, top lane is the only good lane for him to gain. I still have my flash and pass. Mid lane's not good to gank. The Kassadin's gonna be playing passive and just farming. Bot lane, well, it's a two man. Much harder to gank two people. Especially when you're underleveled, which this Twitch will be now. Also, why is my lane the one that's pushing? Yeah, what a surprise, he came back. Huh? Why did you just come to take two turret shots? But what a surprise, he came back, because this is such an easy lane to gain. Point and click hard CC, followed with more hard CC, against a champion that has to get in melee range to farm. What fun we're having. If I were playing any other champion right now, I probably would have died twice. At least I still have my R. Healed back a lot of the damage. Although, if the Twitch were still here, I'd be dead right now. Because no E uh, and no R, I wouldn't be able to escape. Thing is, he's getting low. Twitch is here. No! One more W shot! You gotta be fucking kidding me! Well, they're both gonna die for it. Yeah, they're both dead for it. Please. Yeah! That's what I'm talking about! Fuck yeah! I nearly killed- God, that sucks that I nearly killed them both. But that just shows you how weak Twitch is early on if he doesn't already have kills. But that felt so good! I mean, you can see just how much I have to play around this Twitch. Every action I've taken so far in this laning phase has been playing around the Twitch. Because I have no choice. If I don't play around him, I'm going to just get massacred. Because the Twitch is going to keep coming back. You saw the moment the Maokai was looking towards me, I knew Twitch was in the area. Because that's basically Maokai right now. Is... Is my Twitch here? Go all in. If not, uh, I'm just gonna sit back and fart. I'm not as squishy as I look. Ow. If my E up, I th if I think if my E was up just a little bit earlier, I would have gotten that kill. That kill, I would have gotten both of them. Because there's no way they would have killed my pass if it was just one of them. Ugh, man, that was a little off. I'm just going to keep my E. It is really annoying also playing against the Maokai. If I want to farm, I have to give him grass procs, and there's basically nothing I can do about it. Of course, I can force him to have to burn abilities to do it. Right, I've got my R. And this should slow push back towards me now. So how far back do I need to ward to spot the Twitch, huh? That's probably not enough. There's still too many routes that he can come and gank me from that I wouldn't spot. Mom always said I 
You find the extra range nice. Yeah, I, I understand that. Ah, Twitch is here. Oh, he's not here. Oh, that's confusing. Why'd you do that then? Because you don't actually do damage to me if Twitch isn't here. I heal it back faster than you do damage. And this is before I even have spirit message. Botlane struggling. Big problem there. As well as three kills already. Twitch is dead awesome. Well, it means I guess I have nothing to worry about. I'm not afraid of him. Not without Twitch. Oh come on! Fuck that ability and its and its ability to avoid damage like that. This is two games in a row I'm getting fucked over by untarget ability. Oh, whatever, he needs to leave. He took way too much damage. Uh, Fed Siobhan is no laughing matter either, that is correct. Fed Siobhan is terrifying, she's 5 and 1. Holy shit, she's fed. A Fed Siobhan is about as scary as a Fed Cassidy. Not quite. Nothing's as scary as a Fed Cassidy. But a Fed Shivana will give him a run for his money. And the Shivana is... Fuck, she's going on hit. If she were going AP, I'd be a lot happier. AP Shivana can mess shit up. And against a squishy team like this, it would be awesome. I say squishy. The Maokai and, and Gally are not squishy. But the uh, Twitch and Ezreal are. That's the majority of their team's damage. It would be great to have that. Oh, God, their Ezreal's just doing too well. How does BB's act feel? Terrible. I mean, he physically can't do damage to me anymore. This is now a wet noodle lane. Yeah, without the Twitch, he can physically do no damage to me. Nothing that lasts. I'll heal it back in one rotation of abilities. See, there it is. I just heal it back so fast. Thing is, he heals back... Oh, is Twitch here? He's not here. If Twitch were here, I, I would be taking a lot more damage. And my Q killed him. Damn it. Fighting is in my blood. I mean. No, you don't. Ass. Maybe you shouldn't be so fucking obvious. <laughs> that emo was actually perfect. <laughs> that emo was actually fucking perfect. Too bad I didn't get the cannon, but that was awesome. I, I'm i pretty sure that Twitch is dead because of me. <laughs> I'm fucking over this Twitch in more ways than one. Awesome. And after he tried to fuck me over too. Alright, time to take plates. That's adorable. That's adorable. Damage he did while I was under the turret. None. It's a joke. It's a joke. We're up against a living joke. And there, I'm back to full health. Oh, what a joke. Hi, how you doing? Yeah, and I think the big issue with Zack on the PBE is that the only champions that are going to be getting played next season, top lane, are damage based. And Zack does so much worse with the new mythics. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, when I rotated over, they knew they had to leave. The Siobhan is terrifying. She's 9 and 1. Oh, God. This game is over. Our Kassadin has more CS than their Galio, and our Shivana is 9 kills deep. This game's over. There's no way they're winning. I don't care how fed that Ezreal gets. Impossible. Those are two champions that can run down and kill Ezreal. Harder for Shivana, but she can do it too. Out noodle him. Yes, that's the beauty. I will eventually out noodle him. All I need to do is get a Bramble Vest and I out noodle him. Because his healing requires him to auto me. My healing does not. He can't get Bramble and counter me in that same way. But yes, look how little damage he does. He tickles me! I mean, I don't do much damage to him either, but the thing is, I have Conquer, so my damage does stack. Just ignore him. It's a wet noodle matchup, but again, the difference here is that my abilities don't cost mana. I could do this literally all day long. This is the most wet noodle matchup ever. <laughs> this is so stupid. We're just using our abilities off cooldown, but again, you notice the difference is my mana isn't going down. Why is that? I don't have mana. <laughs> I don't care. What are they gonna do, honestly? <laughs> honestly, what are they gonna do? <laughs> right, that's right, send three people here, I don't care. Yeah, see, that's what I was expecting would happen. Oh, and he's out of mana. Which means he can't wet noodle fight anymore. He needs to leave. <laughs> oh, this is so dumb. Oh, I missed this. This used to be a much more common thing to see when you brought Zach top lane. These wet noodle fights where nobody wins. Just everybody farms and that's it. I miss the days of League like this. <laughs> That seems stupid, but... <laughs> oh, this is great. Oh my god, I almost have enough for Sunfire. Let's get this. Uh, you know what? Fuck it, I want to do actual damage to this guy. Let's go for Leandre's. See, that's the thing. When he was still fighting me, I knew, okay, somebody's coming. Let's hold my abilities and wait. And I waited. He hit me with the root. Okay, scary. He hit me with the knockback. All right, that's two CCs down. Now we go. I've got my whole kit ready. Let's go. <laughs> oh. Ezreal got the shutdown on him, but the Kassin got the shutdown on the Ezreal. Oh, that's... Never mind, the Ezreal wasn't in shutdown territory. He's six and five. Oh, yeah, this game's over. This game's just done. Their Twitch wasted so much time trying to fuck me over topside. And I'm guessing, I mean, look, normally what he did would be right, but he should have noticed in the very beginning the way I set up the wave to ensure it would be pushing towards me. That should have been the moment he realized, you know what, maybe ganking top lane's not going to work out. Because what I did was what you expect an experienced player to do against a Twitch. That is exactly what you're supposed to do against an ex against Twitch. Because in my case, I knew, okay, Maokai's not here, Maokai must be leashing for him, that means the Twitch is going to gank me first. It was actually really dumb of the Maokai to leash for the Twitch. It would have been much better for the Twitch um, if he didn't, because then I would have... Fine. Fine, I'll leave. Whoosh! I mean, I'm going to lose this, but that was pretty fucking awesome. That was really fucking awesome, wasn't it? Oh, I'm gonna live! 
I'm not. Okay, I'm gonna die. But Shivana is gonna get that one, and they'll probably get more. Oh, they're definitely getting more. Holy shit, that Shivana game. That was awesome. <laughs> oh, and I have just enough money for Leandri's. Now I do damage. <laughs> just imagine if I had Leandri's Torment here. I would have killed the Ezreal. And with the Ezreal dead, I wouldn't have died. They wouldn't have had enough damage to finish me off. Oh. <laughs> I almost survived. It was so close. I needed one blob to keep myself alive. Thing is, it doesn't matter. They sent they sent three people to fight me. I fought 1v3 and nearly killed two of them. And when my team showed up, five were dead. By the end of it, five were dead. Oh man. See, this is the problem with Twitch. Either he gets kills early, snowballs like crazy, and literally 1v5s. Or he gets nothing done early. Loses half of his jungle to counter jungling. Dies when he's found out. Dies in his ganks. And just generally ends up being a really shitty champ. I'm afraid Twitch outside of bot lane is terrible unless you're strong. And you don't get strong without kills. Not in the jungle. Well, this, this was a, I'm not going to say perfect, because I definitely made mistakes in the lane that hurt me, but I feel like I played around this Twitch very well, and because of that, the Twitch never really got off the ground. He should have picked a different lane. He should have picked a different lane. Oh my god. <laughs> this doesn't mean anything. Because I have, you have, like, both of them, Maokai and I had the most damage on our team. You gotta understand, this doesn't mean shit. Because all that damage, we, like, we were just hitting each other because we could. We weren't doing it because, like, it helped. He wasn't doing it because it helped. Because it wasn't, well, actually, I guess in both of our cases, the longer the fight went on, the better it is for both of us. In his case, the longer the fight goes on, the more grass procs he gets. In my case, the longer the fight goes on, the 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 more I will um, I, the more mana I drain from him, and eventually, when I drain enough of it, he has to leave. So he's getting grass procs, and I'm forcing him to leave the lane. It's we both get what we want out of it, and and the big difference is in the end, I will be better for my team than him. <laughs> yes, half of that. Yes, about half of this damage I have to assume was from the wet noodle fight. Like how much damage? Self-mitigated damage. Yeah, look, look at this. Look at the self-mitigated damage from both of us. That's that's our damage mostly melting into itself. <laughs> Let's see specifically damage taken. So there it is. Damage dealt. Damage taken. Both of us <laughs> lead the way. <laughs> that's really funny. Damage taken. We both took the most damage in the game. Damage dealt. We both did the most damage in the game. <laughs> This is a funny thing that we're just able to do this. Like this, I have to assume this is what it must, it would feel like if we ever saw a Zack versus Maokai top lane on the pro scene. Because this is essentially the most violent handshake ever. Like in general, when you look, when you watch the pro scene, one of the terms that comes up is the handshake lane, where basically both players farm and that's it. They don't try to harass each other. They don't try to kill each other because they know it's pointless. So they just farm. And say, you know what, this laning phase, it doesn't matter. We're going to focus on getting to that team fight phase and we'll see which one of us is better. In our case, this is the most violent handshake I've ever seen. Because both of us, like there was no way to kill each other and we were still farming. But it was like, very violent handshake. 
It was a Trump-style handshake. There we go. Yeah. You guys remember that? When that was one of the scandals of the Trump administration? Not 200,000 dead Americans, no. Him violently handshaking foreign leaders and making them feel awkward. Remember when that was the biggest gaffe of the week? Oh, I miss those times. Those were simpler times. I'm... I'm having a hard time expressing this, but it feels like it was a decade ago when that happened. How about healing done? Ah, yes, I'm sure we both have the most healing done on our team as well. Huh? Wait, what? The, the, huh? Well, the big, again, another big difference here is that my healing is for percentage of my life, and I constantly drain myself of my life. Um... So my healing will overall be better because none of his abilities cost health, but he still heals lots altogether. Like our tankiness was about equivalent. It's, it's crazy, but it is about equivalent because the healing he got makes up for the health that he didn't have to spend. It's actually hilarious that Siobhan had more healing than the Maokai. Hmm. That's smite healing. Is that smite healing? Did she have something else too? Ah, Wit's End healing as well. Smite and Wit's End healing. Now, let's see if the PBE is online yet. 